Hi Aries, this is your May 2022 reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for May 2022 in love universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of aries for may 2022 in love show me okay you guys just a setup, temporary setup. I'm at mom's house. Had to come over for an emergency. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Aries, this is you. It's so odd for me because it's all reversed. This is your partner. So, Aries. I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For May 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aries, is the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Aries, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries and their partner. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries and their partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, something is difficult, something is heavy, something feels like a lot of work, something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders, something is a burden here for you. And this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So Aries, listen, maybe having a difficult time here, or it may be a heavy burden, some situation dealing with money, assets, resources, property. Someone accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or a commitment here, okay? Mm -hmm. And maybe someone is wanting to release this burden with some type of news about practicality or commitment. Aries, you have the fool. This is you, Aries. You have the seven of wands. You have yourself the queen of wands, front and center. Mm -hmm. Your partner has the devil. Your partner has the hangman. And your partner has the emperor, which is you, Aries. So, Aries, the mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is it maybe a heavy situation, something difficult to deal with, something burdensome here, dealing with money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, 
or a commitment. And maybe someone is wanting to release a burden with some type of news about practicality or commitment. Aries, you have the fool. This is you, Aries. But the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey. To do a brand new thing, sight unseen. Just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. But Aries, this is you. Clarify the fool for Aries. Clarify the fool for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? Clarify the fool for Aries. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Aries could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself and holding yourself back or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aries. Clarify strength for Aries. Clarify strength for Aries. It is clarified with the Four of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's an offer on the table that you're not accepting or rejecting. You're contemplating this offer, but actually you're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of you contemplating sending a offer, but you fear the offer would be rejected. So Aries, listen, you can tell me there's an offer coming into you that you're thinking about missing and maybe trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from this offer, or maybe some type of practicality or commitment here. However, you can tell me that you're mustering the strength and courage to come in with an offer, maybe here, and but you're thinking that it won't be accepted here. So Aries, listen, you have the seven of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone, but this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aries, listen, you could be standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with someone, Yes. However, you could be being accused here and you're trying to give your explanation, excuse, or defense. Clarify the seven of wands for Aries. Clarify the seven of wands for Aries. Clarify the seven of wands for Aries. It is clarified with the king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Aries could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. Clarify the King of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a Ten, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, listen, very well could be standoff for shunning and setting boundaries here, okay? Because you're feeling a sense of betrayal, all right? And maybe you're trying to master your emotions, just keeping this person at bay. You may not even want their offer here, Aries. Maybe you're not over some type of betrayal. Could also tell me with the tens here, you can tell me that you're coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal and maybe setting some type of boundaries with this person. So Aries, you have the queen of wands. This is you, Aries, Leo or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. Clarify the queen of wands for Aries. What about Aries? What about Aries? 
clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you have feelings of nostalgia concerning this person. They're heavy on your mind. You can tell me that you want to reunite with them. You can tell me that something from the past was brought back up. You can tell me that someone from the past is in the picture. However, this could involve children here. Hmm. So, Aries, if you're thinking about reuniting with this person, is it that you still love them, that you caused them a sense of betrayal, and you're wanting to come in and give your explanation or excuse or defense or defend yourself here, that you're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in with this cup? Aries, maybe you, you're wanting to maybe release a burden here and maybe come with some type of news about let's go out for dinner and a movie. However, you can tell me that they caused you a sense of betrayal. You're restraining yourself from them. You don't want their cup. You're kind of standoffish with them. However, they're heavy on your mind here. Okay? So I feel like, you know, maybe just it's, it's heavy situation that we're dealing with here. Aries, your partner has the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much. Anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Aries could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Aries, partner. Clarify the devil for Aries, partner. Clarify the devil for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense, but this can also speak to them being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone, but this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse or explanation here. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know, they're tempted, okay, but maybe setting some type of boundaries here. Your partner could tell me that something is toxic here, and they're kind of staying off as shunning and setting boundaries. Your partner could also tell me that they want to come in and explain something here, give their explanation or excuse here. Aries, your partner could tell me that, first of all, you're dealing with a Pisces, the hangman, a Pisces. Listen, the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But your partner may be beginning to change their perspective. So again, could be dealing with a Pisces. Your partner is telling me that you guys are stagnant, but maybe they're changing their perspective here. Clarify the hangman for Aries, partner. Clarify the hangman for Aries, partner. Clarify the hangman for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Aries could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, partner. 
it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Aries could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that they're in the dark concerning something. Your partner could tell me that they're using an the intuition or there was a secret. Clarify the moon for Aries, partner. Clarify the moon for Aries partner clarify the moon for aries partner it is clarified with the seven of swords gemini libra aquarius this is someone lying cheating stealing being manipulative trying to get away with something someone being deceptive someone strategically devising a plan of action someone being sneaky trying to escape trying to get away with something so Aries, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off is the reason why you guys are stagnant. There was a secret here that may have come out about this deception. Aries, your partner has the emperor. This is you, Aries. But the emperor is someone who runs empires. This is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. So Aries, this is you. Clarify the emperor. But Aries, partner. Clarify the emperor. But Aries, partner. What does Aries, partner, think of Aries? What does Aries partner think of Aries? Clarify the emperor for Aries partner. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Aries could be dealing with a Leo, but I ask what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you're happy. Your partner may think that you can make them happy. Or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. Clarify the sun for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate. That we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that it was illuminated to you that there was a third party. Your partner could tell me it was illuminated about you having a third party. However, your partner could tell me that they would be happy to reunite with you. It's what they want to do. They could also tell me that you're, you would be happy to reunite. Because again, you can tell me that this cup is coming in and you're restraining yourself and holding yourself back from it because they're coming with this cup and maybe you don't want it kind of standoffish or you're wanting to come in with this cup must and the strength and courage to come in with this cup to reunite with them so really you're gonna have to tell me this person is heavy on your mind and you may want to reunite with them okay so Aries, listen, it could be an invite out for dinner and a movie here because someone is wanting to release a burden I feel like you both want to reunite but I also feel like it was a betrayal, some type of deception and making it toxic here, possibly with a third party being involved. Aries, this is your May 2022 reading. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week.